The real Paris Hilton is a drastically different person than her public image might suggest. As she's about to reveal in the upcoming YouTube documentary about her life, This Is Paris, her life has not always been a simple one. No one really knows who I am. Something happened in my childhood that I've never talked about with anyone. Speaking about the difference between her real self and the character she sometimes portrays, Paris has said, There are so many differences. With the character, it's mostly kind of this blonde, bubbly, kind of Barbie airhead, and in real life, I'm the exact opposite. I'm not a dumb blonde, I'm just very good at pretending to be one. Say what you will about Paris, but as one of the most well-known heiresses in the world, she's managed to take the life she was given and build up an empire all her own. Now no monarch would be complete without a palace to live in, and Paris has had multiple homes over the years, including a Hollywood party pad, a multi-million dollar mansion in Beverly Hills, and places to rest her head in both New York and Malibu. Paris Hilton is a world famous socialite, reality TV star, actress, singer, businesswoman, fashion designer, DJ, and much more. She's literally done it all, and as a huge fan of hers, I couldn't be more excited to talk to you guys about her today. She's an OG influencer, and if it wasn't for her, I highly doubt I'd be here right now talking with you all. Paris has managed to take all of her many talents and turn them into a fortune over the course of her career. She's used her family name as a launch pad for a string of successful businesses, including her perfume brand, retail stores, and even her very own beach club resort. When all these streams of revenue are brought into consideration, Paris earns herself over $10 million a year in business ventures alone, and her estimated net worth is sitting at an eye-popping $300 million. That's a ton of money, and Paris knows how to invest it wisely, putting a whole bunch of it into the homes where she lives. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I first took a look at Paris' homes almost a year ago now, with the documentary on her life about to drop on YouTube this month, I thought it would be a great time to go back and update it wherever I can. Today we're going to stop off at the mansion she still lives in as well as a couple vacation homes, and the party palace she sold that's now basically the equivalent of the Paris Hilton experience. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Margot Robbie and even car tours, recently one on the likes of Miss Hilton herself, which we'll link to at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Paris first purchased this home when she was blowing up back in the day and while still in her early 20s. Considering how young she was at the time, it shouldn't come as a surprise to find out that this home was primarily known as her party pad. Don't believe me? Check out this crowd forming outside of her house from back in the day. Paris bought this Spanish style mansion way back when in 2003 for around 1.5 million. The house is situated in the exclusive neighborhood of Hollywood Hills and has 3,064 square feet of space as well as 4 bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms. Paris decorated the interior in what is known as Hollywood Regency style. Big phrase, right? Well, let me show you what that looks like. Classy AF, right? I mean, just look at that glass dining room table sitting underneath a vaulted ceiling with a low hanging crystal light fixture. Upstairs, one of the guest suites is decked out like a 1980 party animal's wildest dreams with mirrors, mirrors everywhere. I guess in today's culture, those mirrors are going to be utilized for more of those socialite selfies, but either way, when you're in this room, there isn't a bad angle to be had. Meanwhile, the bathrooms are about as glamorous and luxurious as you probably imagine they are. Other features in this home include a full guest quarters, a wood paneled media room, and an extra room dedicated totally to entertaining. Wait, isn't that basically the entire house? The mansion also includes a gorgeous billiards room, a home movie theater with velvet chairs, and a basement den that Paris transformed into an entertaining space, complete with her own, well, let's just call it a dancing pool. Let's not forget about the kitchen with all of its state-of-the-art appliances and marble top breakfast island, nor the outdoor spaces which come complete with a landscape garden, pool, spa, cabanas, fire pits, and all the backyard space you could want. Now Paris actually sold this home back in 2007, but she left all her glam and her behind. The current owner of the home, a film and television writer from San Francisco, bought it for $3.9 million and has begun renting out the entire home, starting at $30,000 a month. 
which means if you have that kind of dough just lying around, you too could live like Paris. Of course, if you really do have that kind of money just burning a hole in your pocket, you're probably living your life much like Paris is already. When Paris is visiting the East Coast, she stays in this fancy penthouse located in New York City. Paris bought this home in 2015 for 4.9 million in the world-renowned Astor Place building. This beautiful apartment is located in the heart of Manhattan and spans 2,396 square feet of living space, including two bedrooms and two baths. The historical building was once a warehouse back in the day when it was was first built in 1867, but it has since been completely remodeled by Carl Fisher and Andre Escobar. Paris's bedroom has natural hardwood floors, a bed situated on top of a platform, as well as an additional lounge area, while the ensuite bathroom features a walk-in shower and jacuzzi tub, perfect for a night of pampering. Paris's penthouse also includes a massive kitchen, a dining room with views that overlook Cooper Square, a bright living room with a white marble fireplace, not to mention floor-to-ceiling windows to provide you with some marvelous views. Up top, it has a 905 square foot private rooftop terrace that overlooks Manhattan's NoHo neighborhood, and it also provides a ton of room for Paris's dogs to run around on. And of course, as with everything in New York, it's all about location, location, location. And Paris's home is only steps away from Washington Square Park. Now let's move on to Paris's primary home, which is situated smack dab in the middle of Beverly Hills. Once Paris moved on from her former party pad, she scouted out this beauty of a dream home back in 2007, and despite how nice her former house was. I'm pretty sure that you'll agree with me when you see this place. It was a definite upgrade. This mansion is located in the gated community of Mulholland Estates, an area of Beverly Hills that's notorious for its many, many celebrity sightings. Her neighbors include the likes of Kendall Jenner, Christina Aguilera, and much more. When Paris dropped 5.9 million on this place, she flexed her business lady muscles and got it for almost a million less than the original asking price. This Mediterranean style mansion was built in 1991 and spans almost 7,000 square feet, more than double the size of her prior home. It sits on an acre of land and features five bedrooms with five and a half bathrooms. When you step foot through the front door of this place, you're going to be blown away by the two-story entryway with an absolutely gorgeous winding staircase entrance. It's such a glamorous spot that parrots can oftentimes be found modeling for pictures for Instagram right here. Of course, that's not all this place features. It also has a massive living room, a large family room with wet bar, an office, gourmet kitchen, breakfast room, butler's pantry, wine closet, and a full gym that Paris has reportedly transformed into a shoe closet. But I know that the only thing you guys are really interested in is her master suite and rest assured it's glam personified. It features its own private balcony with views of Beverly Hills and modified closet space to fit two closets the size of a regular jeans apartment or bigger. I mean she's even got her very own dressing room attached to her bathroom. Well, this is my dressing room area. This is where I do my final touches. When I was designing this space with my interior designer I wanted it to be old Hollywood so I love all the mirrors and the chandeliers and the whole black and white vibe. I just thought it was perfect for this room. One of Paris's favorite spots in this home is her screen room, which features a massive 120-inch screen to watch all those football games on. This is a space where Paris likes to pre-party with her friends before they move upstairs to Club Paris. Yes, Paris Hilton has her very own nightclub in the upstairs of her house, because of course she does. Did you really expect anything less? The club features a Bose sound system, smoke machines, dance pole, and DJ booth where Paris can get all the practice she needs in. Moving to the outside of this dream home, you'll find a gorgeous pool and spa with attached grotto, but the most eye-popping feature out here is undoubtedly her $325,000 doghouse. Or a doggy mansion if we're being honest. Look, there are dog lovers like me and then there's Paris. Even the word enthusiast seems to be too light of a description. At the moment, Paris has at least five dogs and she had this custom built home prepared for her fur babies. Paris bought this beauty back in 2009 and it's 300 square feet of living space with climate control air conditioning built into it so that Paris can protect her pups from that deadly LA heat. This mansion is designed in a Spanish colonial style and features two floors. So the next time you find yourself sitting in your one bedroom apartment just wishing you could climb some stairs, remember this. Paris Hilton's dogs have a two floor house all to themselves. Maybe if you ask really nicely they'll let you move in with them. Meanwhile out front is a fenced in turf lawn with a large front door featuring a golden fire hydrant. That last part might give the dogs the wrong idea. I mean we don't want them peeing inside their house do we? Finally before we finish up let's take a look at Paris's most recent rental in Malibu. Paris told the carousel.com that she rents a different place in Malibu each summer. Her most recent rental looked a little like this. 
Paris was kind enough to do a photo shoot with Carousel with her boyfriend at the time, so this is the only look we have at the place. But as you can see from the pictures, Paris brings her taste with her everywhere she goes. In fact, she told Carousel, Every time I move into my Malibu house here, I never really like the furniture that the people have, so I always take everything from my house that I love and I just bring it and then redecorate the whole place and kind of parasize it. It just makes it more cute and fun. Look, Paris, I don't know if you're planning on visiting Toronto anytime soon, especially considering all that's going on, but anytime you want to visit, you can parasize my house any day of the week. All right, guys, I think we're gonna bring this video to an end here. This is usually where I like to go over a few of your comments, but since Paris has so much real estate to cover, like like literally we're running a little long with this video so we'll save that for social media don't forget to let me know down in the comments which one of Paris Hilton's homes you liked best if you're anything like me then I already know it was the one with the doggy mansion because that's just where my mind is always at follow me over on Instagram to chat don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video bye